Oh, me and I, Trinity is a MSc finance. I did my legal honors from Delhi University. The investment wasn't that high. Don't need a lot of documentation. Simple. Very confused the first few days. Didn't have my accommodation book. Along with the IIT appointment, uh, PPSM, mm -hmm. finding a part-time job. Overall, as a class, as an experience, the uh, international exposure. Can you tell us about the job opportunities in Ireland? Especially? So the investment and um, your equities, your all these and massive fund management industry here. Depends on the company. Some people, some companies might not sponsor you. This is not a market for new like new graduates. It's a market, for, and you realize that the deadlines are a month. A month and a half maximum. To these graduates are just for people who do not have somewhere between thirty thirty five. And how many interview calls did you? Ah, uh, initially I just went to Starbucks because I wanted to work at Starbucks. How would you rate the cost of living in Ireland? And yeah, what like you know, six or nine hours to get out of. Hmm. So, I don't know where to get the money. Belgium was, I say, best experience. One of the best experiences of my life. Just get the money, lagra. Hmm. So, local money, lagra. They just can't find. If you want to work part time, not, not a chance. It's easy. And what's the average salary one can expect after one hundred percent student accommodations? Get it? Once you have the experience, right? Hmm. That's when you bear the fruit of this country. Studentinireland.com पे मेरी प्रोफाइल बनी हुई है वहाँ पे जाके वीडियो अच्छी लगी हो चैनल सब्सक्राइब कर देना वीडियो को लाइक कर देना हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल आज है सिक्स में और आज मैं मोह भैया का इंटरव्यू ले रहा हूँ मोह भैया ने ट्रेनिटी से एम एस सी फाइनेंस करा है तो बाकी वही बताएंगे भैया कैन यू ब्रीफली इंट्रोड्यूस योर सेल्फ एंड टेल एस अबाउट यूर एजुकेशन बैकग्राउंड इन इंडिया ओके सो आई रिट माई बीकॉम ऑनर्स फ्रॉम डेली यूनिवर्सिटी I had a first class honors there, so it was remotely, it was comparatively easy for me to get in here. And then uh, I did my masters of masters in finance, which is the flagship course for Trinity Business School. And then I am working currently in Vodafone, uh, in the finance stream for the grad. It was a graduate program. What motivated you to pursue a master's degree in MSc Finance at Trinity College Dublin? Being very blunt, very honest, I think this is a uh, like the best return on investment, you could say. Like investment wasn't that high, close to twenty lakhs INR, and then the first year you can make that out. Living expenses are obviously very high, but uh, that being said, it, very good return on investment. I know not a lot of risk. I'd say not uh, easier to come here than it wasn't that popular when I applied. Obviously, it's gotten increasingly more popular among Indian students now. But when I applied, wasn't like so. When you go to the counselors and everyone, mm. they suggested this. <laughs> in my background, so so fifth in UK and Ireland for MSc finance, twenty mm. seventh, twenty eighth in the world that year, <coughs> which is very good. And like for the fees that we speak, uh, like very high, very very easy option, I'd say. Mm. Plus, yeah, like nothing. Literally, I didn't have to do anything special. IELTS, which you have to give anyway, hmm. or you have your undergrad results ready anyway, and that was it. Uh, did you apply to any other colleges in UK and Ireland? Uh, no, not really. Only Trinity. Only Trinity, and I got in luckily. <laughs> well, otherwise, I would have like I was in KPMG Global Services for three. I worked there for three months, but like I only quit that job because I had to move in, yeah. and they still don't know. <laughs> 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 Uh, how did you find the application process for international students at Trinity College? Any tips for future applicants? Very simple, very basic. There's no rocket science. Simple questions, simple stuff. Don't need a lot of documentation. Simple results, IELTS, LOR, SOPs. That is it. Basic stuff. Nothing too complicated. Could you share your experiences as an international student in Ireland, especially the initial adjustment period? So that's the that's the, that's the tricky bit I'd say. <laughs> When I got here, I didn't know anyone. Like I knew one person, but he was a cousin's friend. So like very, no, I didn't know him properly and everything. So but he was very helpful uh, for the first few days. Again, that being said, didn't have a clue. Uh, I've always been born abroad of Delhi, twenty two years of my life. So moving abroad was definitely going to be a, something different. Very confused the first few days. Didn't have my accommodation book when I got here. Mm. I was staying in a hotel for seventeen days. Oh, for the first seventeen days. Uh, till then I figured that out, and then I moved to Bangalore. Mm. And then obviously, yeah, you're like Delhi is Delhi, different place, massive friend circles, very close friends. Like when you look at the level of friendship, it's very close there. Mm. Moving out of that to come to a place where you don't know anybody, obviously. Massive struggle, but then uh, 
my class was 100 people, which made making friends easier than the guy I'm living with currently. So I got to know a few days before I came here that he's also traveling and we had mutual friends back home. Mm. And then it just like it starts working your way. Mm. So like it does take time. It initially, I think the first two months are tough. Uh, for uh, finding your IRP appointment, mm. one of the toughest things I think, along with other visa appointments <laughs> at the moment. But now IRP appointment is very tough. Uh, then along with the IRP appointment, uh, PPSM, mm. finding a part time job, all of that, doing that all that at once. When you come in new city, you don't know anything about that. Uh, and also when you come in, right? Mm. So all the grad programs have the deadline within the next two months. Mm. So you have to get up to date on your CV, update everything, know how to write cover letters. Mm. It's, it's a different thing and like, uh, there's no college placements or anything. Mm. So you have to do everything on your own. I mean, there is a careers team which will help you out. But that being said, you have to do everything on your own. So a bit, a bit uh, tough the first two months. But once you are getting through, I think it's, it gets much easier. Initial struggle, I think, is mm-hmm. always there when you, whenever you move to a new place. So, yeah. Uh, could you describe your master's program and some of the key highlights or challenges you faced <coughs> during your studies? So my master's was amazing. Not gonna lie, I think uh, one of the best years of my life, except for that initial struggle. <laughs> uh, some of the modules were not good, but overall, as a class, as an experience, the international exposure you get. The, because I wanted that mm. in person, I got I got would have come here last year, mm. like a year before I got here. Mm. But because of COVID, I didn't. Mm. My classes actually were in person, mm. which was a very big plus for me. Mm. Made loads of friends, <coughs> and then great classes. Like in terms of knowledge, right? Most people don't want to take anything away. Most mm. people just are here to get that degree and two-year visa mm. so that they get a job. I, on the other hand, gained a lot of knowledge. My uh, bachelor's in commerce, right? Mm. So I like it's only financial statements and a few elements were similar, mm. but everything else for me was new. Mm. So lots, lots to learn. Again, group presentations, everything with uh, so like my groups were never fully Indians. Mm. So there was always you know a different aspect, mm. which was very good. Uh, again, amazing class, amazing stuff. I mean, uh, uh, except for a few professors, the rest were very good, very helpful. <laughs> And then we had a very good uh, residency module for which we went to Belgium mm. for a week with the whole class, which was insanely fun. And yeah. it was a part of the course, so we didn't have to pay anything extra. Mm. So amazing, amazing, yes. What are some of the key differences you've noticed between the education systems <coughs> in India and Ireland? Plagiarism. Biggest. <laughs> uh, <coughs> sorry. Mm. In India, whatever is in the book you write that, you get full marks. Mm. In here, whatever in the books you write that without without referring, mm. you fail. That is the biggest difference. Like I think it's very good that you use your knowledge mm. that you gain rather than you know memorizing something. Mm. So you use that knowledge, you write the answers like about what you think. Mm. That's that's a very good thing. I think you are getting to apply the knowledge you gain rather than you know just memorizing it and writing it down, which I not a big fan. Mm. That's the major difference, I'd say. Mm-hmm. Again, I'm from Desh Bandhu, so better colleges might not be doing this. <laughs> but that being said. Can you tell us about the job opportunities in Ireland, especially in your field of study, that is MSc Finance? So finance roles, right? A lot of financial reporting roles, a lot of back-end roles. Uh, there's, no, there's not a big market here, right? Mm-hmm. There's not a big capital market here. So the investment and um, your equities, your all these analyst roles, your corporate finance roles, your M&A roles, very, very limited in numbers. Mm-hmm. And being very honest, they don't go to, because they're smaller boutique firms, right? So they mm. prefer to hire someone who's from EU. Mm. Because like there's loads of uh, loads of regulations which we don't even know about. Mm. Like you've got to keep the ratio equal, sponsorships, X, Y, Z, loads of loads of issues for them. Mm. So a lot of these roles which ideally finance people go for mm. are, uh, are not easy to get into. Again, still are a lot of roles. Uh, on the back end, like if you want to get into the industry, massive fund management industry here. Uh, not the easiest to get into, but like say uh, you can, you might not get your first job, which you would prefer, mm. but you can always work away around it. You can get into the industry, you can gain knowledge and then move on to a bigger step. And that's the trade-off you make, like because the fees and everything in the markets not as good here. Mm. So that's the trade-off you're going to have to make 
it's easier to get a job in the industry hmm. but uh, the job you would want is not there okay it's not there that easily can you explain the process of applying the post masters with her that is a stamp one zero or something like that the easiest thing you ever have to do just have an insurance just have your results ready that is it you don't even have to go anywhere get delivered to your place i think older i have the first i have got insurance results that's that's the only three things you need and what's the sponsorship you were talking about like the okay so once that once your uh, 1G, which is a graduate visa. Once that gets over, right? In order to stay here, in order to work here, you need to be sponsored by a firm here, which is what I mean by sponsorship. Okay. And how do you get the sponsor? Depends on the company. Some people, some companies might not sponsor you. Mm-hmm. Some companies will sponsor you very easily. Mm-hmm. So that's something that you need to figure out once you get here where you're applying. Sometimes, and also one very big thing about going back to the previous question mm-hmm. about working here is. This is not a market for new like new graduates. It's a market for experienced people, experienced professionals. Very honest. Are we looking for a job? Like looking to looking for a different opportunity? You say for a while now, experienced professionals, accountants, CFAs, ACAs. You need qualifications in order to get your job like a little easier, easily. Right? But you need to have a good amount of experience. Okay. What's the minimum experience you would suggest? Some at least three years. At least three years. At least, because two years is not considerable. You mentioned you are working in Vodafone. Yeah. So can you tell us more about the application process and how did you start looking for jobs and when did you start looking for jobs? When is the biggest issue, right? So as soon as you get here, uh, during orientation, you are told, okay, these are all the deadlines because there's a there's a panel from the commercial from the career team and they tell you, okay, and you realize that the deadlines are a month, a month and a half, maximum two months, right, for all the grad roles. So you don't get much time. Mm-hmm. You got to start applying as soon as you can. And grad holes are for people who don't have much experience. Mm-hmm. That is that that is something that I think that needs to be clarified upfront. Mm-hmm. If you have experience, wait till May mm-hmm. and then start applying for full time roles. Because grad holes are just for people who do not have a lot of experience. Like myself, like Pradi and everyone. These we we are the kind of people who want the grad roles. Who don't have experience? Experienced professionals should not go for grad roles. Mm. It's a waste of their time and talent, of course. Mm. Uh, so, over the phone, I four stages. First is your application, that is your online assessment. I see three stages. First is your uh, uh, online like application. Then, if you get selected or not, there's an online thing, online assessment, mm. not in person, like mm. <clears throat> just a few questions. Then is your four-hour-long uh, assessment center. Okay. There's four stages in that, which is very long and very stressful again. So I think two thousand people apply, like that's what they told us. Couldn't be wrong. But you initially get two thousand uh, applications, and then only thirty five, thirty six people get selected. Mm. So it's a uh, stressful thing. But yeah, but then obviously there's so many roles. So no one that. But that it's tough. Like in so many applications, initially what I did right because there are so many applications and deadlines are so. Tight. I accidentally sent Bank of Ireland AIB's cover letter. Okay. Because I mean, happens. Okay. Uh-huh. So because that's that view. Yeah. It happens. Should be rather than tell the other. Because इतने सारे वो एक साथ अप्लाई करने होते हैं ना तो कभी कभी होता है. I can't like चार तीन. I know people who apply for two hundred rows and then what? Hmm. So it's not easy. But एक तो it's not India because you are not used to getting rejected in India that easy. Hmm. Oh, no, and, uh, how many companies did you apply to? Somewhere between thirty thirty five. And how many interview calls did you get? Five. I actually rejected a job as well before I got over the phone. Okay. Uh, it was BDO. It was an audit role, and I didn't want to do audit because I tried audit in KPMG. Not my thing, so I rejected that. <laughs> and is there any platform on which they list these jobs? Trinity have their own website. Mm-hmm. LinkedIn Indeed has their jobs. Okay. Class door basic. Uh, but Trinity also have a very good website. Okay. Uh, did you also do any part time job? Yes. So I worked. I think almost all my student life here I worked at Starbucks. Hmm. Not the first one because I was figuring things out. I didn't have a PPSM. But as soon as I, I think I started applying three weeks in, like three weeks after I got here. Hmm. Get your CVs, print them out, 
start this i started distributing them uh you see yeah i just went to starbucks because i wanted to work at starbucks because mm-hmm. i'm a massive starbucks guy mm-hmm. i drink a lot of starbucks and my only thought was if i work at starbucks i would have to pay for it <laughs> no, no you do get free, sense, yeah. you get three coffees for free when you are at work okay and like 25 percent off any time after mm-hmm. if you're not at work but you if you go to the store you're working at right they know mm-hmm. you so they just give you a free coffee mm-hmm. so yes i i want i was working part time for the for, for like october to march mm. after march i went to go to belgium for that module mm. and then after that i went to india came back had exams after exams i was working full time because you can work full time in summers mm. uh, okay. with my dissertation in jawadi i mean it was good some of it was good some of it was bad depending on the managers because they keep on changing chopping um, not the most stressful of the world like you don't have to use every it's not rocket science so and you get a good uh, grasp of the slang so mm. if you notice my iris I is very really, yeah, is very good that's that's the reason i how would you rate the cost of living in ireland and do you have any budgeting advice for the national students extremely i uh honestly speaking i don't think i'm the right person to be giving any budgeting adv- advice mm. i am terrible at it i only buy stuff when i feel like and i buy stuff from fresh because i'm lazy which is probably the most expensive grocery store mm. here but because it's the closest that's what i do uh realistically i think if you make a budget if you adhere to it you can 125 euros a week on groceries mm. even 100 like i i don't think i ate out I, the first time i got indian food was 9 months after i was here okay because my standards are very high right mm. so i won't go to diwali or chaska mm. because i want good indian food mm. the first time i went out was after 9 months and where do you go dolali dolali is a very good dal makhani mm. i can rate the foods if you want to me that's the <laughs> bonus thing after rate a few indian restaurants in dolali you can't rate the them like that right mm. so i tell you the best okay. dal makhani mm. dolali best uh, biryani mm. take a street because they are all same version so more or less mm. best butter chicken ananda no two ways about it i'm not saying that because i know the people at ananda this genuinely best butter chicken and if i may ask how much do you spend monthly don't even know like i do in india we are generally kuch bhi ho sakta hai yaar matlab agar char uh, mahine kya hota hai kabhi kabhi hum 6 baar night out le jaate ho to pata nahi kahan se le aate paise wo to support ke pata lagta hai aur agar nahi ho raha jaise abhi i haven't been going out for the last few months because i'm working on something else to kharche nahi hote fir matlab groceries pe kitna hi kharch lega और बाहर जाके खाने में भी कितने पैसे लगता है इफ यू इफ यूर सेंसिबल राइट लाइक आई एम सेंसिबल लीडर मैं जाके यहाँ पे दही के कबाब ऑर्डर नहीं करूंगा क्योंकि मेरे को पता है अच्छे मिल ही नहीं सकते समझ रहा है मैं यहाँ पे ग्रॉडी का ऑर्डर नहीं करूंगा क्योंकि अच्छे मिल ही नहीं सकते तो ऑर्डर द बेसिक्स यू नो वॉट इज राइट मैक्सिमम थर्टी फाइव फोर्टी यूरो से ऊपर आ ही नहीं सकता विच इज ऑल्सो वेरी एक्सपेंसिव क्योंकि बुखार में खाना खा लेते हैं पर वर्ष बट यहाँ के हिसाब से ठीक है वॉट आर सम कल्चरल डिफरेंसेज यू ऑब्जर्व बिटवीन इंडिया एंड आई लैंड स्टूडेंट शुड बी अवेयर Massive cultural difference. Oh, everyone's very open, right? Everyone's very nice. First things first. Coming from Delhi, where everyone's aggressive on the front foot. <laughs> Here, people are very laid back, very nice, very helpful with everything. So, very open, no stress. Like they won't argue, they won't bite back. There's no, you know how in India is always like the rat race. Hmm. He oh he got that. Hmm. And like it's not here. People are happy for you. Mm. Oh, you got this right. Oh, that's it. Like generally happy because mm. you're a friend. Because I don't know why is that. Mm. Maybe they're just brought up this way. Mm. But it is that it's a massive cultural difference. I think. Uh, could you share any memorable experiences or events you have had while studying at Trinity? So many, yeah. So many. Uh, as I mentioned, my class was very, very good. The first time we went out, all of us that was a good night. Class night after exams or after the presentations, right? I remember it was the toughest week ever. I had work four days that week, classes five days that week, and a presentation due at the end of the week. <laughs> so I used to get up at five forty-five mm. because I had to be in the store at six uh, thirty, and then I my shift was from six thirty to twelve, twelve half, half twelve. Mm. I had a class at half one. So in that one hour, I go eat something, <coughs> freshen up or whatever. uh like do whatever i can mm. in that one hour then there was a 3 hour 45 minute class mm. like almost 4 hours and then we had to sit out uh, like sit after the class because we had a presentation due mm. 
But then after that <coughs> we we went out because everyone had presentation. So after the presentations were done, we just went out, had fun. Belgium was I'd say best experience, one of the best experiences of my life because we had 80 people. 80 people go to Belgium. I was friend with most of them. Like I, I didn't have a very I didn't have a particular group in the class. Mm. I was friend with everyone. Mm. So I was with a different group of people every day. Mm. Amazing fun. Like dancing on the bar table mm. at five in Belgium where people are holding my t-shirt. So that was a <laughs> peak experience. How do you balance academics and social life as an international <coughs> student? See, that's a tough one, but uh, I am someone <coughs> who who can't sleep until his work's done. Hmm. So if I have tension, okay, this is not done. Hmm. I'll just sacrifice my sleep. And social life, you might not. <laughs> so, so like, I don't sacrifice on that. I'm a major FOMO, I think, I feel like that. So I tend to go more often than not. Uh, made so many friends here since I've been here. But academics, yes, that is something you need to focus on. So I, what did I do? Firstly, I think weekdays, the study, 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 weekend, just party, party, party. So, <laughs> so I think that is it. What advice would you give to prospective international students considering Ireland for their education? Uh, that's a tough one, right? Because I've seen people going back now. So it's not a cakewalk. Like people might say it's easy. Mm-hmm. It's an easier country to be in. Nothing is. Once you move out, you will face challenges. And uh, either way. Irrespective of where you're going, people say this is a slow paced city to adjust to that. Uh, <coughs> finding people, the right people. <coughs> then, a lot of people I see here, right? They say, I'm not going to do it. They say, I'm not going to do it. They just can't find it. That is something you have to consider before, like, okay, it's not easy. You need to know what kind of person can you actually leave your family behind hmm. like f- for me the first few, two months i was very homesick hmm. but then i could get out of it because okay i made enough friends if you are not you might struggle hmm. uh fear like academics job applications if you want to work part-time not not a chance it's easy handling all that together i don't think i can do it again hmm. honestly speaking i don't think i can do it again it's very and like, I think 10 people in my class work part time. That was it. So, this is the slow count. What was the ratio of Indian students to international students in a class? I think we had a class of 100, 35 were Indian, 35 were Chinese, the rest were, the rest were. And what's the average salary one can expect after graduating from your goals? That is, let me see that uh, For not experienced, thir- somewhere between 30 to 35k. For experienced, I'd say 50ish. 50ish. And depending upon the experience, if you have 10 years of experience, you might get 100k. Don't know. Uh, one quick question. Uh, what would you suggest? Student accommodations or uh, private accommodations <coughs> when one arrives directly from India? Depending on the kind of person you are, if you're a social person, 100% student accommodations. So much more, uh, you know, collaborating. Like you go out, there are events there, you party, you make new friends, there's a pool table, there's a PlayStation. So you catch up with people every now and then. Private accommodations are more like, uh, if you like your piece, depending again on what age you coming in, I, I knew someone from my class who paid for the entire in camera court. Mm. It because it was too loud, he could say that. Mm. It was a, he was American, right? So he didn't give a lot of stress about money. Mm. But yes, that was not a good call for him. So it depends on the kind of person you are. My personal preference would be student accommodations. But you need to know when you need to move out from them. Mm. You need to know when you need to move out from there. Okay. <laughs> Lastly, what are your future plans and how do you see your career progressing in Ireland? I generally am not the kind of person who will think that far in the future. Mm. Because I think it will just be more stress. I do have a rough guideline laid out. So yeah, like, I my plan would be to stay here for the next few years because it's the career growth is easy once you get it. Once you have the experience, right? Mm. That's when you bear the fruit of this country. Before that, it's not that much as I mentioned. Mm. It's a place for experienced professionals, not not like freshies, what you call back in India. So I say stay here for a few years, get to know the market better. If you get, I think the ideal visa, you can go to work in the UK, which is what most Irish people do. Mm-hmm. They go work for the, they work their asses off for a few years in the UK, 
have enough money buy their houses here and then stay peacefully so oh, thank you for being here agar kisi ko bhi aapse doubts puchne hai to kaise puch sakta to student in ireland.com pe meri profile bani hui hai wahan pe jaake aap form form mein question aa sakte hain thank you bhaiya baaki video achhi lage to channel subscribe kar dena video ko like kar dena doubts ho to comment section student in ireland ka insta student in ireland.com theek hai bye